Hey guys, welcome back to Dip Switch Demos. My name is Jackson and today we're going to check out the Dreadbox Disorder. So vintage fuzzers are pretty popular at the moment. You know, people get pretty excited about old school sexy transistors, germanium, silicon, whatever. You know, tone benders, fuzz faces, all in nice enclosures and they go for a lot of money. And rightly so, really, I get excited about that sort of thing too. I'm guilty of that too. And sometimes I would go as far to say as I actually get a bit cautious when I get sent a fuzz that isn't vintage inspired, that is kind of trying something new, maybe has a few new features or is just a new sound completely. I'm a little cautious, but really, Taking a step back, that is absolutely ridiculous. Fuzz should be fun. Fuzz should be fun. No matter what transistors are inside it, no matter what design it's going for. And for me, that's exactly what the Dreadbox Disorder is. It's new and it's fun. <laughs> So the Disorder is a thick, woolly, but still aggressive sounding fuzz, kind of modern to my ears, that also has a bit of a gate, uh, which is really cool to play with on the higher gain settings. Gets it a little more synthy, I suppose. But also has an oscillating low or high pass filter that can be controlled by an envelope. So what does that actually mean? Well, there is a filter inside of the Disorder that you can either crank up the resonance of so it uh, self-oscillates and kind of generates its own tones, or you can set it so it's controlled by your picking dynamics with the envelope and sensitivity control. That sounds pretty mad, right? And you know what? Sometimes when I've played fuzzers with a load of other secondary features in there, it kind of loses out on the actual core fuzz tone. It's focusing too much on the other things. And I haven't found that with the Disorder at all. The core fuzz tone, if you just use this as a simple fuzz pedal, it's completely worth the price of entry by itself.
the controls, the one in the middle is your fuzz or game control and as I said earlier, above about 3 o'clock you get a bit of a gate in there which is great for obviously cleaning up your tone but also makes it a bit synthier. Bottom right is the overall level of your pedal, top left is controlling between your low pass and high pass filter, left is low pass, high is high pass and it's also controlling the cutoff point of that filter. Bottom left is the resonance control, if you're familiar with other filter type pedals you'll know what this does but it's essentially a feedback control uh, uh, controlling how much of the signal is sort of being fed back into itself cranking that up will kind of get into the self oscillation territory of this pedal this tiny little knob up here sets the sensitivity of the envelope all the way down it, the envelope is off but as you bring that up you kind of tune it to your guitar and your playing style so it kind of uh, engages the filter and the envelope when you want it to. And finally, this little switch here controls the polarity of the envelope, basically if the envelope is going up or down. Positive is generally works better with the low pass filter and negative generally works better with the high pass filter, but I found some cool tones vice versa as well. <laughs> Kind of simple actually, especially once you get your head around sculpting your fuzz tone with that filter, because you can kind of use that filter in a few different ways, either like I said, sculpting your tone, sort of like a tone control, but not really. You can either, you can also crank it to kind of get into the crazy territories. You can also use it as an envelope. Once you get round of those three uses of that filter, it becomes a really easy pedal to use. Yeah. <laughs> 
other little things to mention these two jacks on the top here are for sending and receiving control vol voltages cvs i don't know modular stuff not my bag but they're there if you're kind of in that world and there is also an internal input gain control if you want to tweak the i guess intensity and overall gain of the pedal i've left it as it came from the guys at dreadbox i've been perfectly happy with the sound and kind of the aggressiveness of this pedal i haven't felt the need to t turn that up or turn that down inside so that it's there if you want it i've left it as it is <laughs> This is, again, as with a few of the other Dreadbox pedals I have tried, is a new favourite, or up there with some of my other favourites when it comes to fuzz, and especially when it comes to weirder fuzzers with other things going on. As I said, it has those other things going on, the filter, the oscillation, the envelope, all without sacrificing that core fuzz tone, which is what is priority for me. Thanks guys for checking out the video. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and maybe check out some more. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys. Bye.